he's the hard-working midfielder who took over the captain's armband of his PSL team at the age of 21, led them to cup glory, and whose journey began here in Ottery. He's not only a player for Cape Town's favourite football club, he's also one of our country's youngest football captains. In this case, what happens in Cape Town most certainly does not stay in Cape Town because this guy's going places. But don't worry, wherever he goes, we're going along too. Travis and his sister Tara are the children of Trevor and Charlene Graham, who work at the same company and are both avid players and fans of the sport. Hi, Miko. Welcome. Yes, Please have a you. seat. Yes. Yeah. Well, looking around, I can see this is definitely a family of football fans. Where does that passion come from? Is it from Dad? I think both of us. Um, but I would say more than Mum, because uh, when he was small, he used to run, she used to run up and down um, the line. So, Charlene, you were crazy about football as well. Yeah, I was really a crazy mom. I was uh, the mom that runs up and down the line, shouting and screaming. But when Travis was born, you know, we were so happy to have a little boy. So our firstborn. And with him getting the talent from, well, both of us, we both played soccer. So, <laughs> yeah, but Dad was a brilliant soccer player. He's just playing it that I am. But yeah, I'm the greatest supporter. Okay, I see what's happening. You didn't stand a chance. He was going to be a footballer no matter what. Uh, definitely, definitely, without a doubt. He had it in his blood. His blood is red, so that's who we support, the red ones. Well, obviously can't help noticing that railing of jerseys over there. Let's be honest, is that always there or is it here for our benefit? No, that's a permanent fitting. <laughs> that's really a shrine in this house. We're so proud of Travis. This is a family clearly in love with the beautiful game. Travis, I would imagine a lot of blood, sweat and tears into each of these, huh? No, of course, Nico. You know, there's a lot of effort that I put in, in these jerseys. And I have a few jerseys that, that mean so much to me. So it's this one. Uh, it's my debut jersey, where it all started for me for my professional career. Um, there's so much memories and there's much more as well. And this one actually is my debut jersey for the South African under 20 side. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one, yes. And hopefully I can uh, get more of these in, in this collection here. Yeah? I'm sure you will. <laughs> and lastly, uh, this is one of the, the main jerseys that I will cherish forever, you know, because it's my first jersey that I, I've won a, a silver wear with the club. And yeah, this is the final that we just won a few weeks ago. Oh my word, look at the spread. You see, that's why I like uh, families that are athletes because they know how to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers man. Travis, I get the feeling that not only your greatest fans and supporters are in this house, but your greatest source of strength as well. Of course, Nico. They're my parents and they've supported me since I was young. And I think with everything they've done, you know, they've, they've made the person who I am today. And I think without them, I, I wouldn't have been where I am today. So uh, all the credit has to go to them for, for bringing up myself and just to, to be thankful for what they've done for me, and I just want to make them proud. Well, you've definitely achieved that. Away from sport, Travis is a pretty handy musician who plays guitar and drums in his church's youth band. Nice, nice multi-talented fellow you are. <laughs> yeah, you can see. I'm glad you stuck with the football though. A <laughs> Good joke. Listen, I know you're short on time, but I've arranged a nice relaxing afternoon for you and your girlfriend, Kaylin. Are you up for that? Oh, that's wonderful, Nico. But I am a professional soccer player and I still need to go to training. So uh, let's go to the field first and you can come along if you'd like. Sounds good to me. Travis was playing for Ajax Cape Town's under 11s when he was nine and for the first team at 19. Brendan Peterson is his goalie. So Brendan, you guys have been playing together for a long time. One can see it. It's evident in the teamwork on the field. What's Travis like as an individual? Is he the same as he is when he's captaining on the field? Well, sometimes he's a bit different in the sense of when he steps on the field, he's more like aggressive and the players must feel him and he always covers up for his player because obviously he's the club captain. And I've had the privilege to play with him for four years in the junior ranks, two years and now in the first team. And for me, seeing him grow as a player is very inspirational and I think for the youngsters out there it's, it's good because he's only 22, 23 years old and you have players like Nathan Porter and 
Granville Scott in the team who's older than him, but they still respect him and still listen to him. Well, Nathan, you've known him since he was yay high. What's it like watching someone like that evolve into who he's become today? Um, I feel like a proud, proud father almost, you know. Uh, a young father? Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, he's a humble guy. I've seen him grow, you know, and he has all the traits of uh, a leader. You know, he's a good bro. He works hard, so I'm just humble to, to watch him play with him and uh, to have seen him uh, grow. Some leaders are born and some are made. Which one is he? Born. I think definitely born. I was admire of Travis when I first got here, you know, obviously for his footballing ability, but as I got to know him, you know, he's a, he's a special guy and he's probably, you know, if, if he's the example for all the young players in this academy, he's the guy that, he's the poster that we can stick up there. And where do you see things going for Travis from here on out? Well, he certainly has all the attributes to play at a higher level. As, as a young player, he's always shown those qualities, you know. South African players are very uh, gifted technically and playing on instinct, whereas Travis, his, his decision making is He's always been good, you know, tactically he's a, he's a very smart player. And that, at, at European level, that suits his type of football. After training for three to five hours a day, the captain can always look forward to time with his friend of seven years and now girlfriend, Kaylin Jacobs. Over an afternoon at the spa, we discovered this independent young woman is studying Montessori teaching. She's represented South Africa in international hip hop dance competition. Like Travis, she's seen her share of sports injuries, so a spa treatment is always welcome. Well, guys, that incredible sensation you're feeling right now is the sugar scrub. But I'm guessing you both knew that, right? Travis and I both being in the food business, him being a footballer, myself being a dancer, we go on quite a lot of dates just doing some foot scrubs, and you can never get enough of them. Speaking of dates, how you guys met? As I understand it, there was a lot of work being done, but mostly from his side? Yeah, I made him work really hard. Um, his sister and I danced together, and I guess one day he came to a show, and maybe love at first sight? We would never know, he wouldn't tell me. Um, and and from there, we just started talking, being friends. So one day, he took me to Fishhook Beach. He made me look at the waves in the pouring rain out of all days. Um, turned around and in the sand, beautifully written, will you be my girlfriend? And here we are today. And now you're one of his greatest fans. One of his biggest fans. I'm sure I'm the loudest voice on the field. Well, Travis, we know you're great with the footwork, but you must be a fantastic juggler as well to find time for this lovely lady. Life is all about balancing it out and having Kaylin around, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing to me because she's just filling in the gaps where I need uh, to be. And yeah, focusing on my football, she, she helps me to do a lot of things that, that you think footballers uh, doesn't need to do, but she's there. So many people around you have different hopes and dreams for your future, but what do you dream about? I obviously have the dream of playing overseas in Europe someday, you know. Uh, my favorite team is uh, Manchester United, and my dream will never fail, uh, but I'll keep on going until I get there one day. Well, I'm sure you will, and Top Billing will be right there on that field supporting you when you play for Manchester United. But first, a foot massage. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Here's to seeing Travis Graham in Bathana's colours. <laughs> 